Gender inequality is a social concept in which men and women are not treated like equals. Now, you might think that society has evolved past that. However, there are still signs of discrimination between the genders because of their chosen biology, psychology, and traditional customs that are still heavily embedded in certain cultures. We must break free from this backwards thinking that our biological composition dictates the way we live our lives. For our gender should not decide on what we wear, how we act, and should not limit us in any shape or form. In our history, women have been oppressed and deprived of their rights because of stereotypes that they should serve their husband and their family. Up to this day, gender inequality is still present. Many people still suffer from gender profiling, especially here in the Philippines. For most people, especially our parents and grandparents, still practice being conservative and preventing their daughters to wear sandals, skirts, or any type of outfit that is her view. A problem that takes the form of boxes and chains. Limiting the people from showing their true ways. It's a mystery that we continue to bear. Living in a society that controls our life like it's theirs. Why is your hair too short? Are you a lesbian? Long hair suits girls better. Why are you carrying those chairs? Let men do it. Why are you wearing a boy's outfit? Why are you crying? Men shouldn't cry. Be tough. Why are you doing skincare? Isn't that like a girl thing? Why are you wearing lipstick? Are you gay? Why are you the one courting him? Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? Have you ever experienced people telling or asking you this? Everywhere you roam, all you hear is the sound of judgment buzzing through every corner and inch of the place. For a society that claims to live in the future, why do we still carry the toxic thinking of the past? Living in a world where a woman's power is still underestimated. We pressure young boys to fit our sense of masculinity just to avoid being the laughing stock of the society. The minorities struggle for their rights on the daily. Individuals are separated, torn, and divided. For how long will we keep this mindset tolerated? Now is the time to correct these mistakes that have been passed down for generations to this age. Isn't it time to change our point of view? At this point, boys can surely wear skirts too. A woman can become president, a man can certainly stay at home. And for sure, there's no gender when it comes to wearing clothes. No matter who you are, no matter how you may identify. Let us create a world where you can be who you want to be. No one is allowed to judge me. Or mistreat me. For the way I act. The way I dress And the way I express myself to the world I can be who I want to be Stop Gender Inequality In the poem entitled I can be who I want to be There are some words that are often used in order to insult or offend one's personal life It talks about gender stereotypes and how some acts are supposed to be aligned to a gender. The poem also includes some eye-opener questions that will restore our mindset about gender, making a fully positive impact to everyone who will be reading it. Unequal treatment of an individual, regardless of any gender, is a serious issue. Everyone is different and has their own thoughts, beliefs, values, and sexual preferences. This poem tells us that we should stop generalizing people and start accepting our individuality.